Welcome to IOQM problem solving session. So today we are going to solve a problem from IOQM 2024. So today let's solve problem number 12 of IOQM 2024. So here is the problem which discusses about a square ABCD of side length 6. So let E and F be points on CD. So let me insert the diagram that we are trying to discuss here. So here is the diagram, everyone. So as you can see, we have the points E and F on the segment CD, such that CE equals EF equals FD. Or in other words, points E and F bisect the segment E with E being closer to C. Because if E is farther away from C, then F would be even farther away from the current position and hence it won't be equal to FD. All right. So we join AE and BF. Let it intersect at the point M. Find the area of triangle MAB. OK, so this is the condition. X and Y are not given as per the question. So they are the apparent construction which will lead to the solution. So draw perpendicular from M on to a b and c d and let's call the foot of perpendicular to be x and y respective so now the logic is really simple because let a be the side length let's finally substitute it as 16. so now each length c e e f and f d would be individually a by 3 because they trisect as per the question and AB is 3. So let's write it out. AB equals A and EF equals A upon 3. So let me erase it for now because we are now going to angle chase. So angle MEF equals angle MAB because AB is parallel to CD or AB is parallel to EF. And MFE equals MBA for the same reason that AB is parallel to EF. And again, the angle at M are vertically opposite, hence they are also equal. So we get that triangle. MEF is similar to triangle MAB by angle, angle, angle similarity. You know, right, when three angles are equal, the triangles are similar in the corresponding sense. So corresponding angles must be equal. So that's why E should be placed in the same position as A and F should be placed in the same position as B. So now, we know that the heights, the length ratios, all equal the side length ratio between these two triangles. So the height of the triangle MEF is MY. So we get MY upon MX. So this is actually the height from the vertex M of the triangles should equal the side length ratios. So that is nothing but EF upon AB. But what is EF? Let's recall EF is A by 3. So substituting it, one would get A by 3 upon A, which is one third. So MY by MX is 1 is to 3 ratio. But what is XY? We know XY is parallel to BC. 
and the b x y c forms a rectangle thus x y equals b c so you would get x y equal to a because it represents the height between the parallel lines right that will be retained because parallel lines always have a common height between them throughout their length so x y equals a and if m is a point that divides the line segment x y in the ratio 1 is to 3 that is m y by m x is 1 by 3 then let's figure out the value of m x so add 1 to both sides you get m y plus m x upon mx equals 4 by 3 and that imply mx is equal to 3 fourth of my plus mx which is xy so xy is a so we get 3a by 4 thus the length mx is 3a by 4 and we are done we know the height of the triangle mab and we know the base of the triangle to which this height is constructed, which is AB. And let's find the area. So this is a symbol to denote area of any triangle. So we have area of MAB equal to half into base AB into height MX. So half times AB is small a. And mx is 3a by 4, which is 3a square by 8. And if you substitute 16 here, you get 3 into 16 into 16 by 8, which is 6 times 16, that is 96. Hence, the area is 96 units square.